Night Slash go late? There's no shot they're running Night Slash. Like, if they're running, like, Sash, Gallade with, like, Protect 3 attacks, and they're all meant to beat, uh, Garganical, I would throw- <gasps> I'M GONNA THROW UP! <laughs> Bro, what? Alright, um, what do we have here? This is kind of a weird one. I, I- Iron Moth, but, like, if it's booster energy, it's probably gonna be, like- Actually, what if it's, like, Acid Spray and, like, Scarf Golden Go? That's actually kind of a crazy team archetype, if they do that. Let me think. How do I deal with this sort of thing? Uh, the Fortnite lead is objectively correct, and I can go like Captain EP. Do I bring Captain EP? No, I don't. Let's do this. Gives me a lot of options. Yeah. Just hyper defensive core. That archetype would have a huge ground weakness though. That's true. Um however <laughs> That's all I need to elaborate on. Why is it named Fortnite? Why are you asking me stupid questions, dude? Everyone names their Arcanine Fortnite. It's just a rule. Okay, I have no idea what this lead is for. All I know is I am far more afraid of that Gallade than I should be. Let's go ahead and Wisp him. I am very afraid of Gallade. Those Sacred Swords? They hit. They, okay, well, I was wrong. Acid Spray Moth? Psychic. Okay, that's a move. Luckily, it's not booster, so I can live. Get a Spit F drop, which is kind of bad. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I think I know what I do here. I think Terra Ghost is going to be my best friend. And unfortunately, it might be in my best interest just to sack Iron Hands. Yeah, it's going to be in my best interest to sack Iron Hands here and just go for a Snarl. And try to Bolt Switch on... You. Okay, cool. Terra Ghost Garg looks really good. Oh, well, I failed my Bolt Switch. Now the question is if it's um if it's cloak gastrodon. That's my main concern. But if it is cloak gastrodon, I could just like ignore it and target everything around it. It's not its leftovers. Okay, no, we're good. I think this is winnable. Oh, it's getting garg. And I'm just gonna salt cure everything around the gastro. They have to, like, Acid Spray plus Earth Power to KO my Arcanine here. Which, given they're not booster energy, I think we're fine. Okay, cool. If I catch the Gallade, I'm happy. Which I'm fairly certain I just did, yeah. Like, their instinct should be go Gallade because it beats all variants of Garganical except for Ghost. Unfortunately, guess what variant I am? That's right, the good one. It's kind of messed up you're, watch you're making a slug watch you as you salt all his friends. Yo, that's true. That's true. You know what's also very funny? Um, Gastrodon takes uh, double damage from Salt Cure because it's a water type, but I'd like to imagine it should be eight times damage because it's uh, it's also a uh, a slug, which is very funny. 
It's very funny. Laugh. Okay. Um, with that in mind, the Gallade isn't terribly threatening, although I still want to go for a Will-O-Wisp, just to make sure it can't ever break me. Actually, it's in my best interest to Will-O-Wisp the Gastrodon the more I think about this. And, like, Salt Cure it immediately. Because I can get rid of Leftovers, which makes the Salt Cure a quicker KO. Night Slash Gallade? There's no shot they're running Night Slash. Like, if they're running, like, Sash Gallade with, like, Protect 3 attacks, and they're all meant to beat uh, Garganical, I would throw- <gasps> I'M GONNA THROW UP! <laughs> Bro, what? That's so stupid, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, are they Sash 3 attacks? Never disrespect Gallade. This is literally just an anti-garganical Gallade. Like, it's meant to deal with every variant. That's so funny. That is actually so funny. Uh, they can't afford not to Night Slash here. Look at all that damage. All right. Let me uh, will o wisp you, and I'm gonna go into my Amoongus. Because uh, what I can actually do is uh, do like a really cool defensive play where I side Pollen Puff. Are they gonna protect here? Ooh, that's not great. I do have Wide Guard. And I also still have Snarl. If I connect this will o wisp I'm happy. Okay, cool. Happy with that. They're probably just going to Night Slash me again so I can spam Snarl now. Oh, hello? That's not great. I absolutely have to Snarl. And I'm actually going to go for a Protect here. Because I intend on losing my Arcanine at the end of the turn. Okay, that's not great. Like, I'm ready and willing to get rid of this Arcanine as long as I can get the free Pollen Puff off. That's literally it. That's all. That's all I want. Psycho Cut? Okay. Um, I still do this. Snarl should KO the Gallade next turn. So I'm free to do this, yeah. Um, man, this is really rough. Let me think. If it's Life Orb Garg, I never live. I have to Snarl. And I can try to Pollen Puff. I might be able to keep my Arcanine here, which is really nice, so I can Snarl another time. It's basically just a matter of getting this recover off. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I got the Palm Puff off. That's like all that really matters here. Because everything in the back ends up like losing. And I may even be able to go for the second Palm Puff. I don't think Iron Moth ends up winning this. Because I have to Snarl and Protect this next turn. And then I think the next turn... Oh, he went Gastrodon. Wait, wait, wait. That's huge. That's huge, actually. Um, I can do this. Okay. Garganical should live everything. It's just a matter of getting the Pollen Puff off, which... Amoongus doesn't outspeed Gastrodon, but... No, you know what? I have to, I have to Snarl another time. And also, I'm going to go for a Spore into Golden Go, because I think they're going to go into Moth, and if I get this play right, I just win. <laughs> there we go.
I get my pollen puff off every time. There's no chance I don't get the pollen puff off. Earth power? I would actually welcome that KOing me. All right. Um, do I push my luck? Do I push my luck? I don't think I push my luck here. Um, we did see Gastron. Gastron went after my Amoongus, right? No, it didn't. I wasn't paying attention. I'm so stupid. Uh, I live in Earth Power. At minus one, I live in Earth Power. Because it's Gastrodon. It doesn't actually hit terribly hard, and I have a lot of special defense investment. Muddy Water. Cool. Always live that. Pollen Puff. Uh, and I need to go for the... Let me think. I think I get Regenerator with my guy. And I go for the Salt Cure onto the Iron Moth, because it's like the last genuinely threatening thing. I could also risk it and go for a second Pollen Puff, which is like, it's really asking a lot here. They technically have only burned one turn of sleep. Let me think. I think I just Salt Cure and go Arcanine. I need regen. Beanie, thanks so much for the for the the six months. That six months will make it so this guy doesn't even wake up. That's literally how this goes. He's gonna Terra. Bro said I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm gonna turn into a grass type. This will save me. It's not gonna save him. It's still gonna do a lot, and then I can stall him out. He also switched in the Snarl. I think he's gonna Psychic my, my guy. Stays asleep. Busted. Broken Pokemon. Alright, uh, I'm gonna Heat Wave here. Do I Snarl? I think I always still Snarl. The more I think about it, I think Snarl's still the play. Yeah, Snarl's still the play. Um, er, mm, it's a little risky. I think another Salt Cure guarantees I get this KO. And then I can like just go for Wide Guards plus like attacks, like Pollen Puffs. I could like Rage Powder and then like win, actually. I think I just attack. I just attack, yeah. And I also go for the Heat Wave. Who turns asleep? Let's go! I got rid of Golden Go. That's all I really needed. I got rid of Golden Go. There's no way it takes this double up. Because Salt Cure does a, a quarter of its health. Yeah, it's dropped. It dropped. I got it. I get the burn, too. Buddy Water, please don't accuracy drop me. Okay, I avoided the accuracy drop, which is really big. Because that means I don't miss this. Golden Go goes down, unless it's like Cloak. Which even then, I just like double protect. No, it's not Cloak, okay. Oh yeah, we saw Life Orb earlier. So now here's the rough part. Um, they still have a turn they can possibly be asleep. They still have a turn they can possibly be asleep. 
Pollen Puff will always KO from that range, but I think their Psychic also KOs me. So my objective correct play is to double attack. Because I beat a Moongus 1v1. Rage Powder doesn't uh, redirect versus this thing. Psychic? Okay, cool. Salt Cure will KO because this thing has really low attack. Or really low um, defense. They also go for the Earth Power. They don't get a crit. Huge. Salt Cure. And now I just Rage Powder Salt Cure. I could also um, double Protect here. I think I always double protect here just to get maximum recovery. Because right now I still have the timer advantage. But the issue is an Earth Power could one-shot my Amoongus, and I need to make sure I get the Salt Cure off. Like, I, I have to make sure I don't drop to a crit, basically. Double protect here. Nice, okay. That was a really intense game. That was like a really intense game. Have a mod do it? I could, but I don't always have mods in here. That work? I don't know if that worked. Beanie, can you type something? There you go. Okay. Um. Look, I trust Beanie to be a mod, because I know him in real life. I, he is a figure within the community that many people have to talk to, so he wouldn't really be, like, kind of mean and mess up my channel. And third, he's within driving distance for me to kick his butt if he decides to mess up my channel. All right. <clears throat> So, I mean, like, what's their Garganical match? They don't have a Garganical match unless it's Cloak. But I have to be careful. We, we can't assume it's Cloak. Uh, I have to bring God Slap here for that reason. Let's lead off with Garg, God Slap, and the Goons. Yes, Godslap is a reference to the to the Moist Critical comic. I mean, like, give me a reason not to do this. Uh, I guess I can think of a reason. This thing's going to want to Throat Spray immediately, so I'm just going to make sure it doesn't do that. Uh, a little concerned about, like, Fake Tears plus Hyper Voice, but Garganical should be able to eat. Reflect? I don't even know why you do that, bro. I'm going to take practically nothing here. They're going to activate their Throat Spray, and now it's a commitment. Now it's a commitment to stay in, so they're probably not going to want to do it. It has officially become a commitment to use this thing. Let me go for a Wide Guard and a Snarl here, and the next turn I'll go for Recover. Actually, do they have any Defiant Pokemon? I don't think so. I think they just had, like, Mirror Herb, or Mirror Armor. Stop taking screenshots, my fingers are so big. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go for um, Wide Guard and Snarl. Nice crit, yes, I'm very good at the game.
Corv doesn't beat Terra Ghost Garganico, though. Like, I just wall it out forever, and it takes extra damage. Yep, they decided it wasn't worth the commitment. That? No, bro. That doesn't help that much. Unless they're cloak, I have to like test. Jesse, I have to test. I would honestly, I mean, they're obviously not running Yawn. That's cool. Um, is there any reason not to terror this dude? Because I just snarl again and I like live whatever from Gastro. Yeah, uh, let's check to see if it's. Oh, that's cloak. It didn't get us. It didn't. It didn't get a drop. So that is good info. Um, let's deal with everything around Gastrodon. Oh, you know what I can do here? This is devious. Oh wait, don't I fail this? Because I, I went for wide guard last turn. Yeah, I forgot. They're not clear, like, they're cloak. Earth power, I'm gonna have to tear a ghost. Oh! What? Bro's max special attack, that's insane. All right, that thing's modest. I think I lose. Yeah, I just lose to that, don't I? Um, are they ter- Bro, they're literally gonna Terra Blast my Amoongus here. They're just straight up gonna go for it. This is just modest, dude. Oh, interesting. Um, that's fine. Maybe they're predicting the grass move? Is it Jover? Not quite yet. It is not quite yet Jover. I don't think they have Terra Blast. I'm gonna Terra here because there's no way they Terra Blast, uh, and I'm gonna go for Protect. I'm also just trying to dodge an Earth Power. And it does look like a three shot. I don't think they have Recover. If they're running like modest max special attack, they may have dropped Recover. It's gonna do nothing. No, my special attack's dead, oh no. Cool. I'm not faster, that's good to know. And that is a three shot, so I'm actually kind of willing to uh, double up on this guy now. Green punch. Um, it's worth it. Getting rid of this thing's worth it because I can just win from there, I think. Let's see if they ever cover. Corviknight? Okay, that's fine. I can actually spore that thing. They do ever cover. That's not great for me, but the reflect is almost up. Yeah, they aren't Terra Blast. That's kind of weird. Check it out. That's good chip. That's good chip. All right, watch this play. Watch this play, watch this play. They're gonna Earth Power my Arcanine. He's barely gonna live it, I think. Terrain, so no Spore. It's a flying type. That's why I said I could Spore it.
Like, don't get me wrong, Covert Cloak is normal. Max Special Attack is not. They recover. Okay, good. Oh, that's a nice crit. That's a nice crit. Gonna get a lot of recovery out of that. And here I go for the burn. Actually, maybe I have Volt Switch here. Nah. I go for the burn on the Corviknight and I just Drain Punch again. Because now it's a roll. And I really think it basically just comes down to KOing this, uh, this Gastrodon. Like, that's the only... That, we're, bo we're both using, like, really defensive teams. Um, but it basically just comes down to beating Gastro. To protect, okay. As long as I get this Will-O-Wisp off, I'm fairly happy with that. Also, this Gastro, or this, this Corviknight's totally like max attack. Like, you shouldn't be doing that much to Iron Hands. This team's just max everything, dude. Okay. Um, let me think here. Do I drop to the double up? Teams reflect more off. Dude, I can KO this Gastron right now. It's just a matter of living. So I think I have to snarl. I have to snarl. It's a matter of living this uh, this attack from the Gastro because they have to double. That's fine. All right, live the double. Live the double. They're earth powering me. No, nope, they recovered. Okay, that's fine. I get like way too much health out of that. Yeah, we're good. Like they are stuck. Giving me, like, health. Let's go, Amoongus. And Snarl again. I don't mind getting special attack drops. Snarl doesn't... Oh, yeah. No, you're right. I'm an idiot. I completely forgot. But it is technically my strongest move versus Gastro. Because it's neutral. Although it is getting weaker each turn. I completely forgot it was Covert Cloak. Okay, that's not optimal, but now I can actually go for Pollen Puff and Fake Out. This Corviknight's almost gone. Yeah, I goofed. Gastro hasn't revealed Protect yet. I can actually try this. Or has it? I, I feel like it didn't reveal... No, it did Protect. I'm stupid. But they didn't go for it, so I'm good. Sorry, like, literally, like, as soon as I lost my core... Or as soon as I lost my, my Garganical, I, all of my brain cells exploded. All right, it basically comes down to if I live this Brave Bird, which I think I just barely do. I think it's like, it's such a close roll. Maybe they'll just throw. <laughs> Maybe they'll like taunt or something. All right, they try to protect. Just live the Brave Bird, dude. They roosted! That's, I think that's game. I don't think they beat this now. I have too much recovery, and their Corviknight's burnt. This is such a scuffed game, dude. Nothing about this was, like, safe. Like, Misty Terrain Grimmsnarl can, like, technically come in, and it'll be, like, a little bit annoying, but it has to, like, choose, you know? And I can Rage Powder away a lot of the hits.
Okay, I think I know how I win. I think I know how I win. Um, I ignore the Corviknight, funny enough. Or I can try to sport, unless it's like goggles, but I think we saw leftovers. No, we didn't see leftovers, did we? I'm, I'm literally, my brain is off. My brain has turned off. I have to KO um, Grimstarl before anything, I think. Oh no, I can't spore Cormac. Dude, my brain is turned off right now. I literally can't think. Um. Protect and Drain Punch. Yep, that's what I figured. Drain Punch is going to do a decent amount because they never got the Reflect off. And I think it basically just comes down to wearing out the, uh, the terrain and beating the Sylveon in the end with, like, Wild Charge. Because I can more or less ignore Corviknight. It's mostly the Grimstar that's going to give me issues. I could Wild Charge here, but it's kind of a risk. Oh, that did way too much. Alright, I think Pollen Puff might just barely pick up the KO. Yes, okay. It's now a Sylveon 1v1. I like always protect here and I go for wild charges. And I just need to get it down to like the Corviknight 1v1. Or maybe I wild charge the Corviknight here to protect my, my Gastrodon. That might be smarter. Um, it depends if they have like bulk or not bulk up. It, it depends if they have a uh, calm mind. Actually, I technically drain punch because it should KO even through reflect after burn. And if they end up going for roost, like that's huge for me because it's super effective now. Hyper Voice, how much am I taking from this? It's no longer Throat Spray. It still does a lot. Raybird, okay. Should still just barely KO. Yes, okay. Get a little bit of recovery there. How many turns of Misty Terrain are left? Actually. Actually. Um, I think I can win by timer now. I think I literally just go for the timer win. How long have we been playing this match? I definitely take like as much time as possible choosing my moves. Let me see. Two turns left of Misty Terrain. I have to go for like Pollen Puff into my own guy. And... Wild Charge? Yes. I am going to take like my sweet time clicking this though. I crit that's huge. Amoongus just barely lives. I basically have to crit. No, no, no. I think I win. I think I win. Yeah, because the next one's single target and I side palm puffed. Or the next one's still double target and I side palm puffed. I won this. Yeah, as long as I don't get crit, I win. Do I have protect here? No, I don't. Just double attack. Yeah, so that was huge because it literally came down to if it was a double. Okay, I don't know why they did that because that just makes it easier for them to lose. This is the most scuffed game I've ever had. Like, literally my brain turned off. They Terra Blast me? Oh, wait, hold on. I can still win because I spored. Oh, that does nothing. 
Why does Hyper Voice do so much more? <laughs> oh my god, dude. That was... That game was crazy. Well, we know that Gastrodon's gonna make the thumbnail. It was literally offensive Gastro and offensive Corviknight. That's the part that messed with me. You know, you if you see any, it's Gastrodon. 